What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And right now is we're gonna talk about Lightroom tutorial. So Ooh. 10 Lightroom tips na pwede kong ibigay sa inyo for this day. And I hope may matutunan kayo. Anyway, so today, bibigyan ko kayo ng 10 tips for Lightroom for us na mas maging better editor. And ito yung mga halos lagi kong ginagamit. Sobrang helpful talaga siya. Alright, tara! We'll now go to number one. Auto tone. So dito, may kita nyo kagad na uh, medyo dark yung medyo dark yung picture and then yung raw file. Anyway, so dito, may kita nyo dito sa Lightroom sa pag when you edit some photos, sometimes kailangan nyo din or hindi mo minsan may kita through your eyes kung tama ba yung edit mo or sagad ba sa shadow, sagad ba sa light, sagad ba sa highlights. Pero right now, may kita nyo dito, merong nakalagay dito sa gilid na auto. So once you click that, boom! May kita nyo na kagad yung difference ng in-edit nyo and then yung raw photo. So it means, may kita nyo nyo mismo kung ano yung pagkakaiba. And if hindi kayo contento, just go back and then reset mo ulit. Okay? Or if gusto nyo pa rin yung ganyang edit and then meron lang kayong konting iti-change just like yung highlights kung gusto nyo kung gusto nyo mas darker and gusto nyo mas lighter or yung contrast medyo matapang and then just go back to zero and yung shadows ganun din at the same time so kayo bahala it depends on your mood. No? So sometimes yung eyes natin is just can't see yung detalye ng isang picture. So, ibig sabihin, we just sometimes have to trust the Lightroom and the engineers and the scientists na nag-create ng Lightroom. Ouch! Let's now move on to tip number two. So, ito is yung tinatawag na crop ruler. Okay? So, dito, may papansin natin, there's a, before tayo mag-edit sometimes, um, may may kita tayo dito na crop overlay. Just hit R if you want, or just click that one kung gusto mo. Pero siyempre, wala namang shortcut halos, so parang same lang. Anyway, so dito, may kita nyo tong ruler, and then ito yung tinatawag na straighten tool. And then once you hit that, kasi minsan may kita natin yung horizon, hindi natin alam kung paano ipantay. Teka, 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 di pa ganito to, teka. Parang hindi pantay sometimes yung isang picture, and then... Yung use nitong straighten tool or yung ruler is once na kinlik mo dito sa part na to, which is yung part ng horizon sa left side, and then hanggang dito sa right side, mag-automatic siya na mag-straight yung photo mo using yung horizon na binigay mo sa kanya. So it means, hindi mo na kailangan maghirap kung ano pa yung pantay, ipapantay mo because the Lightroom will know if doon ka na, doon sila magbe-base sa straight and tool na nilagay mo or if you want pwede mo naman na gawin na ganito so meron dito sa gilid or kahit dito pa man sa gitna is ikaw bahala manually pero sometimes may mga pictures na nalilito ka if malito ka then just use the straight and tool or yung ruler na mas kilala siya sa ruler so number So, check the temperature. So, sometimes meron tayong mga pictures, raw photos, na sometimes we are too excited to edit those photos and nakakaligtaan natin yung temperature and yung tint. So, yung use nitong temperature is sometimes we have to ganun-ganun. <laughs> Remove tong cursor na to just to see the natural color na pwedeng lumabas sa isang photo. So, kanina, nandito siya ang part. And then once na minug natin, may kita mo yung brown, yung pink na rose, or mas naging contrasty pa siya and mas nag-focus pa yung mata mo doon sa rose or sa bulaklak. And doon sa dahon, may kita mo yung um, pagka-warm tone niya once na minug natin yung temperature. 
So, nakadepende pa rin. So, kailangan mo rin na tingnan yung mga picture. Basta, i-check nyo lang palagi yung temperature and yung tint if medyo greenish ba or pinkish yung isang um, picture. So, that's number three. Okay, guys, let's move now to tip number four. Four is just the word, clipping. So, dito sa isang picture, just hit J on your keyboard and then it will automatically detect your shadows and yung white or yung black ng isang photo. Ito yung letter J if baka nakalimutan nyo. Anyway, so dito, once you hit J on your keyboard and once you put your exposure down, may kita nyo yung color blue, it means na yung black is sobrang nagiging totally down na. So yung black once na may nakita ko yung blue dyan, is dito nyo na may kita na nagiging darker na yung picture nyo. And once na i-hit natin yung exposure natin going up, may kita nyo dito na yung red and then it defines yung light na masyadong pumapasok sa isang photo. And that's the tip number four. Learning new things. Ugh. Okay guys, let's move now to tip number five. Wait, hindi ba five? Yeah! The power of graduated filter. Graduated? Graduated filter? That's it. So, dito sa graduated filter, may kita nyo dito sa upper, or sa upper part ng Lightroom, sa upper right. So, tabi lang siya masyado ng crop. And then yung spot removal, and then red eye correction. And then this one. Graduated filter. Just hit M on your keyboard. Ito yung letter M. Just to make sure, baka hindi nyo alam. Just hit M on your keyboard and then lalabas na dyan yung graduated filter and yung settings niya. And, ang gagawin mo dyan is once you put that dito sa upper part and then change the temperature doon sa graduated filter is, you will see right there na nagiging warm oops na nagiging warm yung part ng upper left ng picture. So, it means parang nagiging fake na sunlight siya going sa isang subject. Just like this. And then, once you hit enter, so as, as you can see here, yung before and after oh! is medyo warm dito and then this one is not. So, that's the secret of graduated filter. So, maraming use ang graduated filter. Once you put that dito sa lower part and then bigyan mo ng konting exposure na medyo mababa and then as you can see and once na pin once nilagyan natin ng duplicate and then magbibigay yan ng parang depth parang <laughs> depth of field or parang mas closer look and mas focus sa isang subject kasi medyo dark yung baba and then once nilagyan pa natin sa gilid or sa kabilang gilid is mas magfo-focus siya sa subject. The secret behind HSL. So HSL means or HSL stands for hue 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 who you <laughs> hue saturation and luminance. So dito sa hue saturation and luminance dito sa lower part ng settings dito sa Lightroom may kita nyo yung hue, saturation, and luminance. So dito, once na hinit natin yung all, may kita nyo dito yung hue, saturation, and then luminance. And once na kinlik natin to, if we don't know yung color dito sa isang picture or sa particular picture, just hit this one. And then, the Lightroom will automatically detect kung anong color yung sineselect doon sa circle na pinush mo or sa, pinu sa nilagay mo. So, dito is as you can see, so, may kita nyo dyan, may nag-highlight dyan ng color once na nilagay natin dito. It might be red sometimes or orange, yellowish part, and then green. And then once na hinit natin yung red, and then yung mouse natin is once na ginanon natin pataas, and then the Lightroom will automatically help you or will help you na i-change yung color ng isang picture. Oh! Yan. 
And if you're done, just go to luminance and then just click and just click this one again. And then itapat mo lang sa red na color. And then once na itinaas mo yung mouse, it will automatically detect your red at the same time will help you to lighten that up. Or if kung gusto mong maging darker, is ibaba mo lang kasi may makita din diyan na orange kind of orange and then red and then that's it white lightroom will help you to detect that color so itong green if gusto mong i-going light so ito yung green may kita nyo is nagiging lighter siya once na kinlik natin yan using this circle in it Wait lang. Init. Masyado may ingay? Okay guys, let's move now to tip number 7. This is what we call lights out or isolation mode. So as you can see here, dito sa isang picture, and then yan, edited na yung picture niya, in-edit ko. And then, once we hit L on our keyboard, this, baka nakalimutan nyo kung saan nakalagay. Once we hit L on our keyboard, it will automatically dim yung light sa background at the same time. Is mas magiging focus yung eye mo or yung mata mo sa isang subject or sa isang picture. So once we hit L again, and then yung background will become color black. And then may kita nyo dyan is yung picture lang yung nakalagay. And then mas magpo-focus kayo kung ano pa yung kailangan yung improve sa isang photo. Let's say, if kung gusto nyo i-compare, just hit Y sa isang picture, sa before and after. Let's make it black and white first. And then once we hit letter Y, and then may kita nyo yung before and after ng isang picture. And then once we hit L on your keyboard, may kita nyo dyan kung ano yung difference nung picture na in-edit mo. And then, yung raw photo. So, dito, mas may kita nyo kung, nang mas malinis kung yung background nyo is, or yung edited photo is good enough or better than the raw photo. Moving on to tip... Okay guys, moving on to tip number 8. Good. So dito sa tip number 8, this is what we call black and white. So sometimes before tayo mag-export ng isang photo sa Lightroom, sometimes we just have to try and click yung black and white dito sa upper right ng basic settings ng picture. And once we hit black and white, it will automatically put your colored picture sa black and white, syempre. So once we hit letter Y on, your, on our keyboard, you can see the difference between the colored picture and then yung black and white, which is yung in-edit nyo. Sometimes may mga picture na mas better and mas lumalabas yung story ng isang picture sa black and white and then sa color. So, sa, so just before can you mag export just try to hit that black and white and then you'll see the difference let's move now to tip number nine uh malina naman yeah anyway guys so dito sa tip number nine is learn the curve so dito guys as you can see dito sa basic na settings wala tayong ginagalaw lahat yan zero as you can see and then, ibaba muna natin yan. Dito sa tone curve, dito, sometimes, um, if medyo darker yung picture ng isang photo, you just have to put this up a little bit. And then, this one. So, dito sa upper part, is may kita nyo dyan yung highlights. Dito naman yung shadows and blacks. Dito sa lower part yung blacks. Dito is yung white. And then, this one is for highlight. So, dito is yung, yung exposure din. So, parang sa basic, pero 
the tone curve will help the basic settings para mas makita or mas magpop yung isang picture. So dito sa tone curve, once na pinush natin yung upper or ng once once na pinush natin going up and itong um, exposure ng mas mataas ng konte and this one you will see agad yung difference ng before and after. So once na itanaas pa natin yung konte, may kita niyo dyan? Wait. Umuulan guys. Umuulan pero mainit pa rin yung singaw. Pero amoy lupa. Wait! Pinakahihintay ng lahat na umulan. So, congratulations guys. Is ngayon, kinuha ko lang yung sampay. Kasi, umulan. And then, papahinga si mama. Anyway, so dito, sa before and after, <laughs> let's go back. So dito guys, before and after ng picture, may kita nyo agad na nagpop kagad yung after na picture. Kasi, ginawa natin yung tone curve. So as you can see here. <sighs> Anyway guys, let's move to tip number 10. And this is the last one. Ito yung pinaka-secret or pinaka-secret behind the Lightroom na natutunan ko and I just wanna show it to you guys para mas maging better yung photos and mas maging good looking yung portrait ng isang picture. Or sometimes, ginagamit to sa mga landscape photography and then fashion most of the time and then sa mas lalo sa portrait. Dito, as you can see, sa isang picture, once we hit this one, radial filter, tabi lang siya ng kanina. Sa tip number 5, yung graduated filter. Just hit this one or shift M pero mas mabilis kung i-click mo lang. And then, make a circle dito sa part na to sa kanyang muka. Muka! Joke lang. Anyway, so dito is once we hit that and then make a circle, gusto mo siyang ganyan or dito, pero dito is, this is better para kapag ganyan yung face. But anyway, so, yan, and then make sure na you hit letter O kung ano yung matatamaan ng shadows. So, meron dito sa part ng baba na merong feather. So, once na ipinot natin yan going down, para mas magawa or para mas maiwasan yung face na magkaroon ng shadows. Or, better, bigyan mo ng brush or lagyan mo ng brush. Just hit brush and then erase. And then it will automatically erase lahat or hindi na siya matatamaan ng radial filter na gagawin mo. Anyway, so go, let's go back to edit. So dito, once you hit letter O again, sa keyboard mo. Alam nyo na yan kung nasaan yung letter O. Um, anyway, so dito, once we hit this one, going down, may kita nyo na nagiging darker yung gilid. Or doon sa nilagyan natin ng circle for a gel filter. So yung use nyan, para mas maging focus yung eye natin or mas magbigay attention doon sa subject mismo. So dito, once we hit that, and then maggawa tayo or magcreate tayo ng exposure na going down. So may kita nyo dyan is yan na. So, nagiging nagkakaroon na ng depth of field and once we create or once we lower down the sharpness ng isang um, photo, so yung most of the time, ito, mas magiging blurry siya and then mas mag a siya ng bokeh sa isang picture. And then, once we hit this one a little bit and then put that sa mas mababa and then may kita nyo dyan na um, mas nagiging maganda na yung portrait nyo. And then, once we duplicate that by using your right click on your mouse, duplicate, and then you will see agad yung difference ng in-edit nyo by using this only, yung radial filter. So, medyo mataas siya. Yung taas natin ng konti. And then, once na dinuplicate natin ulit, and then, gawin natin ganyan. Just hit enter if you're done. And then, as you can see here, just hit letter Y. And then, may kita nyo kagad yung difference ng picture ng before and yung after. And then, as you can see here, mas focus siya sa face ng subject. Kasi nga, mas darker yung mga nasa gilid. 
that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching and i hope by natutunan kayo and then if you have some suggestions if you have some comments just comment below and then magre-reply agad ako kasi wala pa naman ako masyadong subscribers so just open and feel free to ask something i will do my best to help you about sa lightroom and Siguro sa Photoshop, and then we'll see. Anyway, guys, that's all for today, and let's just celebrate this day, kasi meron na tayong 100 plus subscribers for today. So, we just hit that one. And then, thank you so much for your support, and then keep supporting me, and then just, if bago ka sa channel ko, just hit subscribe, and thanks. Wait, yung darker. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and goodbye. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Di ba? Mas better na kasi dati parang nagtatry pa lang pero ngayon mas okay. In it. That may tapon effect no after nung goodbye peace. Anyway, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs> diba? What's the best? Nagre-record ako, guys, for almost 30 minutes na. Just for that Lightroom Tips tutorial. And then, ito, is to yung Toyota manina. Anyway guys, before ko makalimutan, um, meron akong challenge for my next vlog and that is for you guys. Ooh. So, ang gagawin nyo is just send some photos, just some raw photos. Mas maganda kung raw talaga na galing sa DSLR. Or if you have something in mind na gusto nyo ipa-edit sa akin, just email me and then i-edit natin. Anyway guys, thank you so much pala sa pag panunood nung Mother's Day. And then, grabe, pinagpuyatan ko talaga yun. Starting from 6, and then, starting from 8pm ng Sunday hanggang 6.30am ng Monday. So, halos, andito lang ako sa upuan ko habang ina-edit siya. And then, that's it. I hope you appreciate that. And happy Mother's Day ulit sa mga magulang nyo. And, yun. Yeah. Put the sky